Let f from g to h be a group homomorphism. Prove that f of e sub g equals e sub h. So in other words, f takes the identity element in g and sends it to the identity element in h. Proof. So we'll start by observing that if we have f of the identity element in g, we can you know, use the fact it's a group homomorphism by writing this as follows. This is f of eg times eg. And this is because um, e is the identity, right? So uh, e times e is simply e. OK, so then this is going to be f of eg times f of eg. And this is because um, f is a group homomorphism. So you know, if you're uh, you know, doing this like for a class or something, make sure to write that down. So this step here is because, you know, it's the identity, and this step here is because it's a group homomorphism. Just saying it in words to save time. Okay, so now we have this equation. We have f of eg equals f of e sub g times f of e sub g. And note, h is a group, and uh, f e sub g is an element in h so you know we have this element here existing in h because h is a group and it's closed under inverses so now basically what we can do is we can multiply both sides of this equation say on the left by this element here so then f e sub g inverse do it like this just to add an extra parentheses times f of e sub g, or the identity in g, is equal to, and then same thing here, f of e sub g inverse, and then I'll put this over here, f e sub g, f of e sub g. Really cumbersome notation. And you can use associativity here on the right-hand side, and you know these will basically cancel, right, because it's an inverse times um, you know, the element that it's an inverse of. So this is actually going to be um, the identity element in H. And then here, uh, you'll just, these will go away, and then you'll just get uh, the identity element in H times this. And because uh, this is the identity element, you'll just get uh, F of E sub G. And so that's what we had to show, right? So really, really simple problem. Um, Try not to get bogged down, you know, by by the notation. But basically, you just take the identity element and break it up because of the identity, and then use the fact that f is a group homomorphism. Then just multiply both sides by the inverse of this element, and you are good to go. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.